the living world adaptations and classification let's recall classification of living things plants are classified based on their height and the shape of stems period of life cycle and habitat animals are classified based on the cell structure vertebral column method of reproduction and habitat diversity in living things a great variety of plants is found on the earth some plants have colorful flowers some plants grow in water whereas some are to be found in deserts which have a scarcity of water some plants are found only in snowy regions some plants cannot be seen without a microscope whereas some are huge in size like plants animals too show diversity some are unicellular others multicellular some are vertebrates whereas others are invertebrates this world is full of variety of animals aquatic terrestrial amphibian reptilian aerial etc but how did this great variety come into being let's understand it the geographical conditions at different places on the earth are very different we find that living things exist in all these diverse conditions Now the question arises that how can living being survive in diverse condition on earth and the answer is adaptation gradual changes occur in the body parts and the behavior of organism which help them to adjust to their surroundings such changes are called adaptations they take place over a long period of time Now we will learn about the adaptation in various kinds of plants. Adaptation in aquatic plants. Some of the aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil at the bottom of the water body. Their stems are submerged while leaves and flowers float on the surface. However, some plants are entirely afloat. Their roots are not anchored in the soil. The surfaces of leaves and stems of many aquatic plants are covered with waxy layer. Therefore, drops of water are formed and they slip off from the leaves. air spaces in stems and petioles of aquatic plants are useful for floating in water so leaves and stem of aquatic plants don't rot in water leaves of some aquatic plants are thin and slender like a ribbon this shape helps them to withstand fast currents of water
Adaptation in Desert Plants Desert plants are either leafless or their leaves are like small needles or have been modified into thorns. As a result, they lose very little water by evaporation. The stem stores water and food and is therefore fleshy. The stems are green as they perform photosynthesis in the absence of leaves. There is a thick layer of a waxy substance on the stems of these plants too. Their roots penetrate deep into the soil in search of water. Living World Adaptations and Classification Adaptation in Plants of Snowy Regions Now just think over it. In what way are sloping branches useful to plants in a snowy region? The trees of the snowy regions are conical in shape due to their sloping branches. In the heavy snowfall and extreme cold in these regions, their conical shape prevents the snow from accumulating on the tree. And the thick bark helps that tree to withstand the cold. Adaptation in plants of forest regions a variety of plants, trees, shrubs and herbs are found in forests. These plants compete amongst themselves for sunlight. Hence, trees grow tall to get sunlight and climbers and vines grow to a great height with the support of trees. Spring-like tendrils on the stem of some climber is an example of adaptation. Adaptation in Grassland Plants Diverse types of bushes and grasses are found in the grasslands. Fibrous roots of grasses prevent soil erosion. Grasses in the equatorial region are very tall. Animals like tiger, elephants and deer can remain hidden in these grasses. However, grasses in cold regions are very short. Animals like the rabbit are found in such grasses. Vast meadows are found in hilly areas as well as plains. Next category of adaptation is adaptation for ingestion of food in plants. Most of the plants are anchored in the ground and are autotrophic. However, plants like dodder, cascuta are parasitic. The plant body of dodder consists of yellow wire like stems. It is leafless and cannot perform photosynthesis. However, it has hostorial sucking roots for absorbing nutrients from the host plant. These roots penetrate up to the conducting vessels of the host plant to absorb water and food. Fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis. They obtain food from starchy foodstuffs like bakri and bread. They have root-like fibers for absorption of food. Plants need nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for growth. 
Plants that grow in soil which is deficient in nitrogen like Drosera, Sundew, Venus flytrap, pitcher plant etc. fulfill their need for nitrogen by consuming insects. Adaptations are seen in these plants which serve to attract insects and hold them captive.